morning. Morning. We have a fun shoot today. I'm excited for it. Are you excited for it? I don't really know what we're doing, except that we're going on another like quad adventure, which it's weird that this has become like a regular thing that we do. We've done it like three times this summer. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so excited. I want to do more. Yeah, we're fun. So if you want to do a quad photo shoot, we'll show you some cool photos of what your photos could look like. Give us a call. That was a blast. Uh -huh. We're so sandy. Sand everywhere. Everywhere. We were told that it like is like glitter and we'll just be everywhere forever. So we gotta dust ourselves off before we can go to the van. We have dust on yes. the lens. <laughs> okay, it's a food. Let me see you. How was your morning? rad location right now. We have another hour and a half before we get to this like overlooked spot that we're going to with everybody. We're excited to share some of the some of the things that we can share with you guys. It was quite the journey getting here. We had to stop. <laughs> Nugget is just off. I keep looking over here because Nugget knows how to get out of his harness and he's like assuming the position to slip out of his harness. So I'm just watching him to make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> If you're going to Grand Canyon North Rim, which in my opinion is cooler and factually less visited than the South Rim, um, you have to stop at the gas station in Jacobs Lake and get the cookies and get a milkshake. We didn't get either of those, but we did get coffee because our 6 a.m. wake-up call is catching up to us. Say hi to the camera. Thank you. What are you mad about? Put his arms around my neck. He doesn't like it. Do you want to go back inside? It's windy. He doesn't like the wind. Ready to go? Yeah. Some of the joys flew up and so I'm just hanging out back here to keep them shut. It's pretty bumpy. Get some treats and make sure that he knows he's loved. 
Switch in vehicles. out of the van and into someone else's vehicle to get to this location before the sunset. We just grabbed the only thing that we didn't have to cook that was in our pantry and it was this. So we're gonna eat this with a spoon and with some chips and that's gonna be our dinner. This is like proper big wall camp dirtbag food. Fritos and beans. Food's cheap and you don't have to warm it up. Oh, okay, okay. Just got dropped off. And I get uh, scanning. I guess we're gonna be staying the night here. This random place along this OHV road. However, we did find by kind of driving around tonight. We did <laughs> not driving yet. around trying to find the van because we around. couldn't remember where the van was left. Yeah, we did find an easier way out. <laughs> so we don't have to take this big old windy bumpy road. Thank goodness. Yeah, there's a really nice gravel road that we could have taken up and but we didn't, so. Our coolant would still be intact. We'd be at a campsite right now, and uh, that's all right though. All right, look at this hose that broke. It's pretty bad. Looks, uh, this is a really poor design. This is so close together. So this just kind of tore up this hose right here, which is, no, no. Our spices. Follow the cabinets. All of our toiletries that fell out of the cabinets on this tray. The mess of all of our camera gear that we've been having around. And all of the sand that's coming into the van. Good times, good times. What a night. That was a really good day. Um, I was gonna work on the van fix that hose. I thought it was something else, but it's a little bit more involved than I anticipated. We're exhausted, so we're gonna do it tomorrow morning. Uh, hit the hay. It's been a couple of long days waking up early, going to bed late, so we had the opportunity 